And the question I always ask myself is, these guys that are finding these things, are they being hoaxed? I'm not saying that they've done it themselves, but did somebody else hoax them? Or did humans make these? When they show on these channels, oh, I went in and uh, we camped out here. We don't know how far that is, how far off the road. Other humans could be in an area. Some people think that, you know, 10 minutes out of town is remote. Um, it depends on your upbringing, where you grew up. For me, here living in the north, uh, you know, I still don't consider out of town more, you know, you got to be a couple hours out of town before we start getting to areas like this, where we are here. This is pretty remote. There are other guys here on the next lake over. I heard motors running last night. I saw trucks parked when we came in. So even though it took me a total of probably close to four hours to get here, um, there still are other humans around. Well, there you go again. Might look odd that it's at a perfect 90, but completely natural. So you guys tell me, am I being too pessimistic in my search for evidence? Am I being too critical? I don't think so. I'm trying to be realistic. That doesn't impress me. What would impress me would be, you know, some of these things you see online, the whole root ball, the multiple trees all stuck together, great big ones that you can't explain, things like that. Now, is humans doing that? Is something else doing that? I don't know. That's what we're trying to find. That's what I'm not finding, but we're going to keep looking for. I need to get better bait. This is Ali. Hey, you're a pup too, just like Gage. Hey? Oh, good girl. So after I finish this walk, uh, I'm gonna head down to the next lake here. I think it's Little Helen Lake, I'm not sure. I'm gonna look around there this morning and then we're gonna have lunch and then we're gonna go up to the Big Helen and apparently there's petroglyphs in the rocks. The kids were telling me that their grandfather showed them uh, and if you wet the rocks you can see them. We're gonna try to find those and there's some arrowheads they found up in that area before. We're gonna look for those as well. I'm gonna put the crackers here. Ancient Egyptian beach. Yes, I don't know. <laughs> With their heads. These are co jewels. I don't think we're going to take our history lessons from Andrew today.
supposed to be petroglyphs on these rocks here somewhere. I'm pretty sure that's not it. <laughs> I don't see anything. Been here about 15 minutes looking around. It's supposed to be right here beside this big rock somewhere, but I can't find it, so I don't know. I've also asked Andrew and Sherry both any strange experiences up here over the years, any tales, stories from family members, anything like that. And Andrew says, nope, nothing. So uh, he hunts quite a bit. He came to the hunting game later, um, but he's in the bush quite a bit. And I've asked him, you know, have you ever seen a track? Have you ever seen anything you couldn't explain? And he says, no. Now he does have some strange lights in the sky story, you know, watching things even from the dock and that. He said lights they couldn't explain, but uh, no Bigfoot stories. All kinds of old machinery on these roads coming in, old trucks and uh, Argos and I don't know. Guys used to, uh, this was the only way to get into these camps, these are all rail camps so they would come in via rail and then if they had some kind of 4x4 they would get it brought in on the rail system and then drive them until they just didn't go any further and then leave them. So I've seen about six different uh, vehicles abandoned here along these trails.
some jigging with minnows and you can see the smallmouth there. He's right there. He's after it. Nice three, four, five pound smallmouth coming up right to the boat. <laughs> All right, we're going to keep a couple of these tonight. We're going to have fresh fish for dinner. Alright guys, just heading out uh, from the camp trip. I gotta say this was like the least squatchy trip I've been on. Uh, spent a lot of time at night on the trails, droning, four-wheeling, boating. And even though we're on the edge of remote here, this is like right where it begins and to go north of here is much more extreme. Guys were taking float planes in all weekend. More humans coming in. And I saw seven planes come in, so there were a lot of people around. So, um, but in terms of anything, any evidence, not even remotely. But we had a good weekend fishing and four-wheeling and all that stuff, but uh, I got to call this one a bust. <laughs>